Hey guys, and welcome back to another Solo Leveling Rise video. Uh, we are covering the new Dev Note. I don't cover these every time, but I think this one is really awesome, including the announcement of a new original Hunter. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. I know that's pretty controversial for some people. Also, another piece of content, the Workshop of Brilliant Light, which has been talked about a lot in a lot of data mines and more. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy Solo Leveling Arise content. This is your one-stop shop. Be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up for more content. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. This is the Solo Leveling Arise team. No, dev poster, Mr. Community Guy. I am the Solo Leveling Arise team. Me and a few other people. Not you, just me and a few other people. <laughs> uh, quick, quick note. Uh, just, just wanted to kind of throw this out there, but... Uh, I may be bringing the pain soon. I'll leave that to uh, to you guys to infer. All right. <clears throat> um, so today we would like to share the upcoming update content, improvements, and future plans with our hunters. Workshop of Brilliant Light, Demon's Castle, Lower Floors. Greetings, hunters. Workshop of Brilliant Light is a challenge type content where various bosses appear. You will encounter powerful bosses, but you can weaken them through various methods and use the methods to gain advantages in battle. Wait a minute. This is the first community note that I've read in a long time that's not like Google translated. I don't think it's them. I think it was just something with their forum page doing that. But hey, nice. Because <laughs> uh, it leads to some really weird English. Uh, hunters get ready to face the ruler of the lower floors of the demon castle Vulcan who mercilessly punished numerous intruders with a large blunt weapon made from a branch of the world tree. Yeah, I know. Just Jinu has it right uh, at the workshop of brilliant light demon castle lower floors Vulcan whose immense size matches his greed awaits intruders to tackle the fire attribute Vulcan. You will need to prepare skills and hunter associated with the water. I was going to say it looks like it. it since it's fire based, and obviously that's kind of what's going on here in this part of the story anyway. <laughs> looks like you're gonna need water hunters. Uh, so that's part of the one of the reasons why you're gonna want Alicia as well. Uh, most likely anyway. Uh, Alright, so hunters who have conquered demons castle or floors at workshop or billion light will have the opportunity to obtain higher level artifacts these artifacts will be granted with innovative set effects different from before so we do have some information about those i'll talk about those in just a moment our team hopes that ob obtaining these high level artifacts will help you power up your sung Janu and hunters making it more enjoyable to tackle previous difficulty challenges such as reverse mode and battlefield of trials so one thing that's kind of happening is we're starting to see the game take shape we had an outline for what the game was in early access. If you guys have been following the channel, the game, all that since then, you know, back since March or whatever, end of March, um, and into global launch, and then now, like a month and a half or whatever after global launch, you're starting to see the game take shape and what their plans are. Uh, there are still other pieces of content that are, you know, down the line. Like, I, I, I'd assume there's going to be more player interaction, whether that's PvP or raids. I, I, I'd assume raids are coming because they just, they're a no-brainer for this type of series. Um... But they're, they're doing a lot of challenge content. Everything in the game is challenge content. A lot of ranking systems. Everything in the game is a challenge piece of hard content. But they're starting to also supplement that with more ways to power up. Because we got challenge content in early access where it was just, oh, you have to make sure your characters are min-max with just levels and weapons. Like, that's obviously artifacts. But we're starting to see more artifacts. The gem system. Uh, we're going to most likely get more ways to improve our artifacts. And these are stronger artifacts as well. So way back in early access, there was a data mine for um, for the pieces that will be here. Now, I assume they haven't changed too much, but they were hitting up to like level 80 artifacts, which is mind blowing compared to the other ones, which is level 55, right? Maximum. Uh, and then they also had higher set bonuses. They had uh, what? Four set, six and eight. I think I think they went all the way up to eight set pieces. So where it was like full armor for the left and right side, that's all one set, not you know, two sets of four or whatever other amalgamations you came up with, right? So that's kind of where this is going. But they say they're innovative and they're going to be stronger. I do remember some of them. They seemed really crazy. Um, and we'll see if they kept that for the global launch. So we'll see. Uh, on the stage, prepare for the day of reckoning. How will you proceed? Growth experience. In a previous dev note, our team mentioned that we are preparing an event to assist with artifact growth. This event is scheduled to take place after the June update. During the event period, salvaging artifacts will receive fragments imbued with mana power based on the enhancement tier. Oh, that's great. The artifact salvage event can be accessed through the events tab. 
Fragments imbued can be exchanged for various growth materials, including enhancement chips. Additionally, level 73 artifacts obtainable from the workshop or billion light can also be acquired through exchange. So please look forward to it. Oh, you can you can exchange for artifacts. Also level 73, not 80. And here is the next hunter. New hunter will join the raid. Uh, I think her name was Melin. Yeah, Melin. Uh, Malin, excuse me. The American hunter Bella Fisher. Okay, Bella is her real name. Who went to China to find her biological parents, also known as the Aquamarine Ripples? Maylin Fisher will join the gate raid. Okay, so whatever, just call her whatever the hell you want. Uh, so yeah, they're already showing us what she looks like and what her costume will be. Now, I personally don't really have a problem with this, but I know a lot of people do. People have been annoyed with the er with with with. Okay, here's the deal. Prior to early access, when they were starting to really ramp up teasing the game after being radio silent for forever, um, people were they were starting to tease that. We were starting to see that there were going to be some original characters, and people were not happy then. Netmarble is notorious for producing original characters in these, and with solo leveling, with, with solo leveling, excuse me, because so much of the story is centered around Sung Jinu, there's not a ton of other characters that get a lot of spotlight. There are some that do, obviously. They're mainly like the S rank hunters, like Cha and these other characters. But it's a lot of just so it's just Sung Jinu most of the time, right? And that's not very different from a lot of series that have a main protagonist and a supporting cast. But nonetheless, what they've had to do with this series is pull side characters that were previously like unnamed. Like a character like Nam. I don't think they even told her her name in the series. Like she's such a background character. That they've had to give her a prominent role as a playable character. Not, not, not like crazy prominent, but they've had to produce her, right? And you'll expect that more in the future. Another thing to expect is more reprints. They're not just going to ever get... And this is Gacha 101. They're not just going to only ever give us one Cha in, for example. Regardless of costumes, they'll print another one in the future. Maybe she won't be light attribute next time. Maybe she'll be fire attribute or something. I don't know. Um, they'll find ways to do that. But to supplement that, especially early on... Producing er um, their own original characters gives them a couple of benefits. For one, they can have their imprint on these characters. Sometimes game original characters make their way into series canons. We saw this happen recently with Aedis, uh, from Aedis? Aedis, I believe is how you pronounce it, right? Uh, from the solo leveling mobile game, uh, Alicia Blading, whatever it got changed its name to. Um, she made she recently made it into a series from what I saw. So like sometimes that does happen, right? So I don't want to kind of just write these characters off. But the big thing with these characters is I am assuming 110%. And we'll see this a little bit later down here. I'm assuming 110% that what this really does is it allows them to do more stuff like this. I don't know if they'll ever get full on like permission to do this with Cha. I don't know. For example, right? Like if you wanted to see Cha in a, in a swimsuit, I don't know if they'll ever really get the approval to do that sometimes that type of stuff is finicky for example dragon ball has never granted anybody that's ever worked on any of their games the ability to do something like this sometimes that stuff is finicky you may think it's a it's a foregone conclusion right for example net marble i'm sure they've got a ton of these with a lot of their seven deadly sins characters I, I i like vaguely remember some of them right i believe so this is what they can do with their original characters right by the way for the record like dragon ball doesn't only dragon ball so like tight-lipped they don't only just like not let people do this with like uh, for example who, for, with dragon ball who are you doing this with 18 i guess 21 right <laughs> i guess i don't know who you're doing this with uh unless you're into bulma right <clears throat> anyway but they wouldn't even associate with something that was like that like say dragon ball had a collaboration with a game they wouldn't they wouldn't even let that like be a cross promotion type thing it's weird so this is all really controversial because most people only want original characters. And I do understand that. But what do you think about some of the things I talked about? I talked about this a while ago, back before Alicia was even shown. I said, when, when they started talking about originals, because this is what, our fourth original? Because I guess Sa is kind of a weird one. She's like got a re redesign for the game, but some people are saying she's from the, the series. And she never got teased, so I assume she isn't an original character. But they did tease uh, Alicia. They did tease this chick just like yesterday. They teased Emma prior to launch and the SR chick, uh, Anna, and I believe. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Anyway, uh, in addition to already announced the support for multiplay, to the already announced support for multiplay in Battle for the Chaos and the removal of artifacts, unequipping costs up to 15 enhancement in the June update, we're also preparing various other improvements. Oh, apparently I missed a blog note. I need to read that one. 
already announced support for multiplay. What the hell does multiplay mean? Is that like co-op? It's a little early for that, right? Without the guild update. I need to go read that other one. Unequipping costs up to plus 15 enhancement in June. That's pretty great. They just they reduced the cost and apparently they're just stripping it entirely. That's nice. Uh, according to Sungju News, achievement level rewards will be added to the obtain heroic blessing stones, heroic runes, and more. And the bond system rewards will be improved so that upon pressing the reward button, you can claim all available. That was so stupid. That was just a feature that should have been there on launch. You should be able to claim all at once. The poison and skill frequency of the Battlefield of Trials Floor Boss 35, Kamula, will be adjusted downwards. We noticed that many hunters were struggling with the skill frequency of the Battlefield of Trials Floor 35, Kamula, despite attempting strategies such as using Break or utilizing hunters like Libora and Parkijin with Purify. Therefore, we decided to decrease the difficulty. I never made a guide on that one. I never, I never really got there. I stopped playing that game mode. I'm not going to lie. Uh, in fact, a lot of it, I stopped playing a lot of it only because I've been saving it for videos and it's really put me behind in terms of like that type of content. I need to get to it more. So just expect more videos. Uh, issues where attacks targeted the wrong enemies or empty spaces after shadow steps will be fixed. Thank God, bro. That is so frustrating having those attacks missed. The artifact filter previously consisting of only one effect will now be subdivided into main effects, sub effects and excluded effects, allowing for more detailed filtering. This enables the display of exclusion of the desired effects only. Okay. Related information will be displayed in the boss information for monsters with freeze resistance. Okay. Furthermore, our team listens closely to the feedback from our hunters and continuously strives to provide the best possible experience. We have also created a platform for hunters to share their feedback in order to offer a better service. Okay. Battlefield of Time Season 2 Balance Adjustment Announcements. So they said basically in here is that people were working pretty hard but weren't able to get the rewards basically. So they're going to change it. As Battlefield of Time provides rewards such as Rune Fragments, Shadow Energy, and Essence Stones, we aim to provide additional buffs for those who exceed a certain amount of time to ensure that effort is rewarded with results. So yeah, the longer you take, the easier I guess it's going to be. The second concern is the tendency of strategies favoring specific weapons. And it's a situation where strategies are often repeated using a specific skill, achieving maximum damage, or where clearing with just one well-timed attack. Our team believes that providing enjoyment through diverse gameplay experiences is essential. Therefore, we aim to adjust the appearing monsters to encourage the use of various weapons in Season 2. They keep doing this because the community keeps finding ways to cheese these events. And so they keep trying to counter that. They don't want people to cheese these events. <laughs> That's why Westwind got nerfed into oblivion. <laughs> All right, now finally down to the summer stuff. Summer is right around the corner. In celebration of this, our team is preparing a grand summer festival. We're working on various contents, such as limited stories, event bosses, and mini games that can only be experienced during the grand summer festival. Through these, we aim to provide you with a new, exciting experience. We are releasing an image under development first and kindly ask for your anticipation. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Emma. All right, uh, last thing there is a new dev code until 618. Okay, so what do you think about all the things I talked about? Let me know. Um, add a reset feature for hunters and sung to new weapons so we can try out some of the weapons at hunters. Yes, that would be nice. A reset feature would be amazing, but I think that goes counterproductive to the way that they've designed this game, but it seems they're slowly loosening on their design choice. Uh... Please tell me Emma Lauren is a summer outfit will not cost real money. Ha! <laughs> ha! Yeah, right. <laughs> Could you imagine? They, they actually should make a free-to-play costume. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I just, at this point, I don't expect it. So anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And let me know what you guys think about all this stuff we talked about. Are you excited about the new artifacts, the sets, the levels, the strength, the power, the challenging content, whatever the hell multiplay is? I need to look into that. Uh, Bella Fisher here. Are you excited about her? Just her costume. I actually kind of have been, have been liking the alternate costumes for the original characters more. And I'm kind of like... I'm kind of whatever on Chaz. I like Chaz more, uh, kind of, but I also like her original. I just think, for example, Alicia looks much better in her casual clothes. <laughs> I just, and then here, I kind of like this circus outfit too, uh, or magician outfit. She looks like what's her name from DC? God damn it, she looks just like Merlin, right? Is that her name? She looks just like her. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.